For 2,000 years, a story has been told and retold down through the generations. A strange story involving ancient prophecies, angelic messages, a birth in unexpected quarters, and some mysterious men who came from far away in the east who found the newborn child by following a very oddly behaving star. In the book of Matthew, chapter 2, it says, After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. In recent years, some well-meaning people have sought to explain this age-old tale of the Star of Bethlehem in terms of modern astronomical knowledge. One popular theory ascribes the Bethlehem star to a conjunction of the planets Jupiter and Venus, two of the wandering stars, as the ancients called them. In order to try and explain how the text describes the stars first leading them to Jerusalem, and then later turning and leading them south to Bethlehem, the theory asserts that the reason the star appeared to stop over Bethlehem was because of the retrograde motion of the planetary body. Many similar theories propose other various conjunctions of Jupiter, Venus, the star Regulus, and even the moon. Perhaps at a glance this sounds logical, but I would like to propose that upon a closer examination of this famous Bible story, we can see that this Copernican-based theory requires both a great deal of speculative reaching on the astronomical side, as well as a very loose interpretation of the biblical text itself. First, the proponents of this theory themselves admit that the sighting of Jupiter would have been a regular event, and even though the conjunction with Venus or Regulus or any, anything else would have been a, a much rarer occurrence, it's hard to comprehend how the star could have been this Jupiter-Venus conjunction. If the Magi claimed to have recognized the star as being unique from the first moment they saw it rise in the east, the conjunction would have been for a fairly short duration, a few days or weeks, maybe. Certainly not long enough to last the entire trip from the Magi's po point of origin in the east, all the way to Jerusalem, and then on to Bethlehem. Never mind that the scripture specifically talks about a star, singular, and it seems almost insulting for us to imagine that ancient peoples who spent their whole lives studying the stars wouldn't be able to articulate the difference between a single solitary star and the conjunction of multiple stars, which they would have undoubtedly been familiar with as well. Not only this, but the notion that the retrograde motion of the planetary body, such as Jupiter, could be the explanation for how a star could stop over Bethlehem, really doesn't seem to do justice to what we actually read in Matthew. As we read on, it says, Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over a place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child was with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Now this is what I find most problematic about this whole story, in terms of trying to explain it via modern Copernican astronomy. Because really, how could any star, being millions of miles away out in space, regardless of any conceivable motion it was making, actually point to such a pinpoint location on the surface of the Earth? Could the point at which a planet appears to stop and change direction due to retrograde motion really be enough precise data to direct travelers to an exact location? Could even a star like Polaris, whose position is constantly fixed, actually lead a traveler to within a few feet of the exact north pole on the ground? Sure, you could follow it until it was roughly directly overhead, but this would still be insufficient to lead one to a location as specific as a particular house within an entire town. Later in Matthew chapter 2, it says, When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious, and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. So from this we can stop and extrapolate that from the time the Magi first saw the star, to the time right after they found Jesus, and then everyone escaped Herod, we are talking about some kind of stellar phenomenon which took place over the course of roughly two years. 
it somehow remained fixed over Jerusalem for enough months that the Magi were able to load up for the long journey to Jerusalem, and then travel all the way to, the, to Jerusalem, after which it seems to have reappeared over Bethlehem, directly south, towards which the Magi continued to follow this particular star until it led to an exact address. To me, this story just does not make any sense at all when attempting to be explained by Copernican astronomy. But it actually makes a lot of sense if given a second look through a biblical enclosed world cosmology. If the stars are not massive balls of burning gas millions of light years away, but rather something else, something much closer, much more intimately connected to the spiritual realities of the created order, the luminaries, if you will. Well, then suddenly this rather odd story from 2,000 years ago suddenly doesn't seem nearly as problematic or difficult to explain. Suddenly we can begin to realize that the way which we've so often seen this nativity story depicted, where the star over the manger scene is represented as an angel, is really the only interpretation that has ever made any real sense. But even more amazing than pondering the star of Bethlehem through the lens of a flat, enclosed world, where the heavenlies are possibly so much nearer than we ever first imagined, is pondering the purpose of this story overall. The message which a moving, seemingly sentient star was assigned to point towards and announce. The birth of this person, this king, whom armies of angels celebrated with song in shepherd's fields. This story is more than just a story. It is true. It is a part of history. It really happened. And just like the star pointed these men from the east to the true king, the creator himself is still. Especialmente cuando vi otra vez una chica ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle. Actually, I must say first this idea today I got, especially when I saw again um, one girl begging for money in the streets. Me gustaría ayudar, pero yo tampoco me sobra mucho el dinero. I would really like to help everybody, but I, I don't have either too much money. And así que me vino la siguiente idea. So I got the following idea. It's, uh, it's más bien un juego. Uh, it's a, rather a game. Lo que es muy importante elegir un monedero de Bitcoin que solo tú mismo misma, tienes la llave privada. What is very important to choose um, Bitcoin wallet 
a company which you only possess the private key. For example, uh, blockchain.info. Por ejemplo, la empresa blockchain.info. Luego, imprimir en papel um, la llave privada y también guardarlo tú mismo. Then, to print in paper the private key and, uh, of course, save for, for yourself that private key. Bueno, ya estamos imprimiendo, imprime por lo menos 10. So now we are already printing, so at least print 10 directions, 10 direcciones. Luego pones algo de Bitcoin, una cantidad, lo que, lo que te da la gana, en esta dirección. Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want, in, that, in these directions. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a la gente para aprender Bitcoin y and this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cl clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me. And uh, explicas, esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First, I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later, explain. Después, lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. Es la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons la gente tiene cuatro dedos. Y Solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in The Simpsons, people have four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunos imágenes de los Simpsons. 
de los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña más tarde, puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount later, it can be big help. Uh, no solo para, bueno, es un juego. <laughs> si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona. Si no, es para ti. Si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So, uh, it's, this is the game part. If uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person. But if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out and it can be really... <laughs> bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada. Y si, por ejemplo... Okay, first translate. Print and not just the private key, but on also the public key. Así que si, por ejemplo, explicas a la gente. Mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin, pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este, esta llave pública a la persona. Mira, muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody and if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and, you, and this person doesn't have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin. ¿Qué es Bitcoin? Bitcoin es la primera moneda digital descentralizada. Los Bitcoins son monedas digitales que puedes enviar a través de Internet. Comparado con otras alternativas, Bitcoin tiene numerosas ventajas. Los Bitcoins son transferidos directamente de persona a persona a través de la red sin pasar por un banco u otro intermediario. Esto significa que las comisiones son mucho menores, puedes usarlo en cualquier país, tu cuenta no puede ser congelada y no hay prerequisitos o límites arbitrarios. Miremos cómo funciona. Los bitcoins son generados en todo internet por cualquiera con un programa gratuito llamado Minero de Bitcoin. Crear bitcoins requiere una cierta cantidad de trabajo para cada bloque de monedas. Esta cantidad se ajusta automáticamente por la red, para que los bitcoins siempre sean creados a un ratio predecible y limitado. Tus bitcoins se guardan en tu billetera digital, que te resultará familiar si usas banca digital. Cuando transfieres bitcoins, una firma electrónica es añadida. Pasados unos minutos, la transacción es verificada por el minero y es almacenada permanente y anónimamente por la red. El software de Bitcoin es completamente abierto y cualquiera puede revisar el código. Bitcoin está cambiando las finanzas de la misma manera que la web ha cambiado el periodismo. Cuando cualquiera tiene acceso al mercado global, florecen grandes ideas. Miremos algunos ejemplos de cómo los Bitcoins están usándose hoy en día. Puedes comprar videojuegos, regalos, libros, servidores y calcetines de alpaca. Existen varias casas de cambio donde puedes intercambiar tus bitcoins por dólares, euros y más. Los bitcoins son una gran forma para que pequeños negocios y autónomos reciban publicidad. No cuesta nada empezar a aceptarlos, no hay cargos o comisiones y recibirás negocio adicional de la economía bitcoin. Para tus primeros bitcoins y más información visita weusecoins.com bueno, ahora voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los dedos de Simpsons. Now I'll show you some pictures of the fingers of Simpsons. The four fingers. 
los cuatro dedos y cinco dedos de Dios. Uh, four fingers and five fingers of God of senses. Español, English, Deutsch. Normalmente produzco solo videos en inglés y español. Normally I produce only videos in English and Spanish. Normalerweise produziere ich nur videos in English and Spanish. Pero hoy voy a hacer otra excepción y traducirlo también en alemán. But today I make another exception and translate it into German too. Aber heute werde ich nochmal eine Ausnahme machen und es auch in Deutsch übersetzen. Ja, algunas semanas tengo escrito en mi lista de tareas por hacer de traducir el video Hashtag BTC4. Now, already some weeks ago, I have written on my to-do list to translate the video BTC4, hashtag BTC4. Schon seit ein paar Wochen habe ich äh, auf meiner To-Do-Liste geschrieben, ähm, den Video BTC4 in Deutsch zu übersetzen. Estoy segura que esta idea puede ayudar a mucha gente económicamente. I'm sure that this can help many people economically. Ich bin sicher, dass diese Idee vielen Leuten uh, finanziell helfen kann. Y da motivación para aprender Bitcoin. And give motivation to learn about Bitcoin. Und Motivation geben, um über Bitcoin zu lernen. In este momento, el precio de Bitcoin es muy bajo, económico. At the moment, the price of Bitcoin is very low, economic. Im Moment ist der Preis von Bitcoin sehr tief. Sería el momento ideal para invertir. Hoy es el 15 de abril 2015. Would be the ideal moment to invest. Today is April 15th, 2015. Es wäre der ideale Moment zu investieren. Heute ist der 15. April 2015. El 27 de marzo 2015, 
he publicado en mi canal de YouTube Vanos Enigma el primer vídeo sobre hashtag BTC4 explicando cómo me vino esta idea. On March 27th of 2015, um, I published my for the first video about hashtag BTC4 in my channel YouTube Vanos Enigma, explaining how I got the idea. Am 27. März 2015 habe ich in meinem YouTube-Channel Vanos Enigma den ersten, den ersten Video über Hashtag BTC4 veröffentlicht und äh, erzählt, erklärt, wie ich diese Idee bekommen habe. La idea consiste principalmente en lo siguiente. The idea mainly consists in the following. Die idea besteht hauptsächlich en folgenden, folgendem. Imprimir en direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o mínimo diez o mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper, at least 10 or better 100. Bitcoin adressen in Papier ausdrucken, um, minimum 10 or besser gleich 100. Y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y la próxima vez, cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero, and the next time uh, you see again a person begging for money on the street. Und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas. And for your friends, of course. Und für deine Freunde natürlich. O tal vez eh, de propina en un restaurante. O maybe a tip in a restaurant. O da trinkgeld en restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin. De direcciones de Bitcoin. Or when you print the Bitcoin addresses, um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin Adressen druckt, auch die, uh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Address Schlüsseln, um, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de abril 2015, escribir la fecha, más plus cuatro años, uh, igual 15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015, plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019.
Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin eh, en estos cuatro años, yo lo vuelvo a tener. Nero sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in, this, um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. Um, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin. -Schlüssel. Wenn du äh, bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld Bitcoin nicht raus tust, transfer, äh, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way, you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. Auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. In mi video antigo. Apparently and historically, opposed to secret society, secret oath, and a secret proceedings. We decided long ago the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. Face the facts, join our hands, make a stand. Uh -huh. It's time to gather plans, get the shot, take the chance. Till there is no one left, stay correct to the death. They can't ever break a freedom, we will never let them. The corrupt politics is killing the system. Cynicism is it, and it's everything that you witness. They tell you what to think, make you believe that they're the realness. They feed us full of lies, and yet we always forgive them. Huh? It's all conspiracy, and if you're it in a witch, you're the puppet. The government's pulling strings from above you. It's time for the introduction to truth, and let's start a movement. We've all been brainwashed, they believe that we all are stupid. We believe in what we see, and whatever I right is a hearing. But if you look close, listen, gather your own opinion, you'll understand all the lies, lines, and what's between them. This world is not your oyster, this world is a fucking prison. Come on! happening in our nation. The trouble stand up for the fear of assassination. So they strip us of everything. We stand there and just take it. We're scared to make a stand a false flag operation. Research Illuminati. Find out by 9-11. You see they line their pockets. Don't believe the lies they tell us. Find to seek the truth. Realize we need to do whatever it is we can to protect our livelihood. It's time for us to do when the conspiracy or not. They owe some explanations to the questions that we got. What are the skull and bones? What is flying beneath? If me got you lying between your teeth, what's with the build a burg and burning your effigies? I'm praying a Lucifer, how sickness can you be? While all the time praying you believing in the peace, just to keep up appearances within Christianity. Come on. Try to 
shut us down or turn around, let us storm them. We got the warnings, let us march from the morning through the night. We gon' fight and close the eye and hope and throw all these damn secret societies. Why we gotta stand for the new world proprieties? The evidence is clear and naive to the night.